Buenas tardes, good evening. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for um, to let me be part of this um, uh, this presentation to this uh, sharing community event. So I'm really excited and uh, I'm really touching, but so far, what do I see? So what I'm going to share is the approach of my work uh, with the theme. But as you know, it's very, I'm from Mexico. I've been here uh, 24 years. Uh, working in communities in uh, education field, and um, I would call it um, honoring the ancestors. Um, that was the program. We, program we, we uh, that we work with the Minneapolis Institute of Arts and the students from my school. And every tradition, every people around the world has their own way to uh, honoring the ancestors. So uh, this is example in Mexico City uh, at the Zócalo. They take new approaches to this uh, holiday celebration. Uh, this holiday that's very important in Mexico. As you know, uh, they make parades now. Uh, it starts to change. It's not just uh, uh, the cemetery will take place, but also uh, every November 1st and 2nd. Um, with the friend that's like my grandma used to, uh, grandma used to, uh, used to put there, you know, in the house, uh, waiting for the ancestors, for the grandparents, great-grandparents to visit us and enjoy all the aromas and flowers. Uh, that's the way we um, celebrate, you know, um, uh, with sugar schools, you know, that's a very, uh, like the sweet that, you know, it's ironically now the sugar is killing a lot of people with diabetes and that kind of thing, right? <laughs> but, um, so it's part of the traditions we have. As a kid, you play with the skull, the sugar, you eat it, and but at the same time, um, it's kind of respecting that. So this slide is uh, uh, part of the mural that is Mexico City, but created by some people here. Uh, uh, Studio Pintura by Armando Gutierrez, but it reproduced the, uh, the, the scene of the thing. Uh, you know, um, this is an iconic image of the Dia de los Muertos with the, uh, some uh, marks of the uh, city. Uh, you know, the Rose Garden, the Stone Bridge Art, the Sculptor Garden, the San Mary's Cathedral, and Dia de los Muertos Flowers, etc. So that's the, the influence that we have here, you know, no, no matter where you are, you still have that kind of uh, connection with honoring your, honoring your ancestors, thinking about them, and, and, and make that bound with other people, you know, other people who also wants to uh, uh, seem more colorful, more enjoyable, the remembrance of the people who are already gone. So this um, work is a, a collaboration with uh, Rocco, who's a Mexican artist, that he's a graffiti artist, as you can see his influence, that he starts to mess with my painting and say, well, it's okay, man, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so uh, this is a, 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 um, a print that we create, uh, it's um, wood carving, right? We use a uh, steam roller is a press with people in Northfield um, that we create this in the Plains Art Museum, an exhibition. Then the Minneapolis Institute of Arts really interesting and a uh, uh, friend that's, and that we, uh, uh, they host that for my students for nine years in a row, uh, displaying their artwork. How lucky kids, they have their own work and the museum when they're teenagers. I never have the opportunity. But I have this one, oh, this opportunity to display one of friend that when they're traditional with modern things at the lobby of the, at the, lobby of the MIA years ago uh, with uh, some traditional elements um, is the way that we create the offering that's to honoring the people you know we love uh, who pass. Uh, with sand, uh, like mandala tapestry on the floor with sand and uh, flowers, they don't allow you to put real flowers, so we use paper flowers and stuff, but uh, the intention was the same. Um, the four levels of steps, that means the four elements of life, and, you know, it was visited for many people, and we have really good um, um, reviews about it, very good opinions about it. Introduction to new audiences about how it might be able to celebrate this important uh, holiday. At, this, at the lobby in the MIA. And uh, us there, you know, um, that's another version of the print that we create. The other one is 
more digital manipulated, but this manipulated, but this the same four by eight foot, the large prints, uh, we use a steam roller machine to print them. That's a really new process for me. They never use something like that. Of course, you know, when we talk about the um, dead of humans, so we touch about them, but also the idea of that we think about some endangered species, you know, like the jaguar and the environment where they live and the quetzales. Then now uh, a lot of companies, especially from Canadian companies, they try to take, extract all the fossil uh, energy from there and destroy the environment of those. Um, and this and uh, another, another example of uh, find a, a dead turtle shell and uh, I create this element by questioning, you know, how much it, since we sting or kill other species, we don't or to own ourselves, you know, some kind of thing like that. Um, and working with my students, uh, having the, having the, some uh, uh, creativity about the, the holiday that we have. Um, we create uh, mugs, you know, these uh, vessels and with it, something related, so. Um, monarch butterflies are really present in this holiday because they represent the, ans the ancestors. They travel north and south from all the way from Canada and United States to central Mexico. In November, they arrive and it's the day of the dead and it's what we believe is the souls of the ancestors arriving for celebrate. So life's a beautiful ride. <laughs> Put the bicycle, this is a mosaic like